cheese slice caked in. Pretty cool, you know. Yay. Have her get the freaking driving experience. So as you guys can go ahead and see, we are in Estrella's grandparents' truck. You guys might recognize this truck from the video where we picked up Chris SVT from jail when he got caught allegedly street racing. So as you guys can go ahead and see, I'm not in the Shelby. The Shelby's actually at VA's shop. We're gonna go back to it right now. I'll go ahead and fill you guys in on what happened last night. All right, guys, so we're at the shop. Thank you, Estrella. She's gonna go to school now, so we'll see her later probably. And then we got Newman here already, so we're gonna go ahead and go check it out. Which one do you think we can't reach? Yes. This one? Or that Stop. one? <laughs> it seems heavy. It's just an inner cooler. So you guys can go ahead and see the Shelby is sitting pretty. Luckily, nothing really actually happened as far as damage. So I'm really, really thankful for that. We had the brand new Nittos as we put on and these actually did good. I mean, I don't know, honestly, these are really good tires. We have the Mickey Thompson's over here that are pretty much slicks at this point. So I was driving pretty, pretty slow, not gonna lie. I lost traction, I don't know, twice, less than a mile from here, got on the freeway and that's where kind of things started taking a really, really bad turn, literally. Uh, we were driving and unfortunately it lost traction on the rear it spun there was a truck on my left which i avoided luckily i avoided him landed in the middle lane so i was on the far right lane basically slid it did a 180 threw it in reverse at that point straightened out and i was i saw you know at that point you're looking straight at the traffic coming straight towards you so i was already in reverse and that's when I just pulled the e-brake, flipped it, did another 180, landed back on the right lane, and then just pretty much put it and at that point, slowed down enough when I did the 180, put it back in first gear and kept going basically at that point. And then just shifted through and got off the next exit, which was probably like 50 feet away. So we got off the freeway immediately after that. I took that as a blessing and came back over here to the shop and just dropped it off and honestly just Ubered back to Estrellas because I was not about to go through that again. Again, I took the blessing. I said, nope, I tried it. I'm not gonna go with it. If anything, driving slicks in the rain is obviously a no-go. You're not supposed to do that, obviously. Probably shouldn't have been on the road in the first place, but the rain out here kind of comes and goes, as you guys can tell. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for Estrella to come back and we'll go ahead and talk to her and see how she reacted and everything like that. And at the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hang out over here at the shop. All right, what's up guys? I'm Estrella, Estrella, Star, whatever you guys wanna call it. Uh, I am back from class and I'm about to show you guys my point of view on what happened last night. So let's get to it. So we're driving down the freeway in the right lane, the slow lane, you know, going the speed limit, whatever, and out of nowhere we just we spun into the middle lane so we're just driving we spun and luckily we did not hit the truck that was passing by us and jacob just like reflex kicked in pretty cool you know and then we got off the freeway so luckily we did not get hurt none of us were injured and luckily also luckily there was no cars around us other than that truck we did not hit anybody nobody else was endangered so we were luckily god was on our side because i prayed that nothing would happen to us and it was raining so you know glad that we made it back here at va's shop to drop off the car and i'm glad we all Estrella is in the driver's seat. We're gonna go ahead and have her get the freaking driving experience of again, this ZL1. Again, shout out to Beast from the Middle East for allowing us to do this. It's a completely stock 2019 ZL1. Go ahead and see all the Alcantara. If you guys seen my last video, then you guys already seen pretty much the walk around, but this is gonna be a fun experience for her. So this is 
a 10 speed automatic so no manual shifting for her today but definitely a very very fun car to drive okay the brakes definitely the brakes are kind of hard uh these are very good brakes <laughs> this is what good brakes feel <laughs> like <laughs> all the brakes that we, you've dealt with are spongy and not good <laughs> well, i'm going straight I'm going straight so you gotta make the right at the light. All right, guys. So as you guys can go ahead and see uh, this one right here, the one that's saying almost E. That's our gas. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a pit stop. <laughs> I had a little too much fun. <laughs> All right, guys. So since we're out of gas, we're gonna go ahead and just switch back into the SUV to make it a lot easier. Since we have to drive all the way back to Fresno, since we're in Mexico right now, and allow her to drive it when it's actually daylight and everything else. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.